my name is Tomislav. And I'm Anja. On today's news, we will be talking about the MICC project, which is currently taking place in Zagreb. MICC is simulation of criminal court dealing with cases in humanitarian law. It's a program specially created for high school students. We have our reporter Lana on the scene. Lana, can you hear me? Yes, hello studio. Uh, today we are in front of the MICC. The cases of Frederick Flick, Simon Bikindi and Dražan Ardemović are ongoing. And today we are with Karim Somon, the program coordinator of the MICC. Hello Karim. So, uh, since when does the MICC exist and what countries are included in the program? So, we started with MICC in 2005 actually, so quite soon we're gonna celebrate 20 years of the MICC program worldwide. And so far, uh, really proudly to say we included uh, young people, teachers, uh, university students and university professors as well as young professionals and professionals in the field of international criminal law and international criminal justice from over 59 countries worldwide, like which means that we had participants from both Americas, Africa, Europe and Asian countries. It's not just that we hosted these people at the MICC program, we even been in these countries. Thank you, Karim. So another question. Uh, so what impact do you think does MICC have on students? I had MICC, I guess, has different kind of impacts. Like there are also personal impacts, professional impacts, but like the most important one is actually like the processes of learning more about ourselves and who we are in a way. And what does our contribution to the society could be on a way. Besides just learning about international criminal law, international criminal justice, the violations of human rights, and also having this kind of historical human rights education approach and everything, I think that uh, young people get to know much more. They get also the chance to travel to meet their other peers from all around the world on a way. And I would say it's an ultimate uh, learning educational experience uh, which really empowers young people from all around the world actually to step into the processes in their society and make and shape our societies in this world um, to a better place I would say. Why do you think it's important for uh, young students to learn about like politics and rights in general? I mean, generally seen as someone who was also like at the age of 14 and 15 attending like such similar activities and who is doing this professionally since over 14 years now, I really think that it's really important that we also know that the decisions and the, the, the life which we are living in our societies, communities and countries or actually generally in this world can be also shaped by ourselves so like it's not always that we need to wait that someone else actually steps in and do, does something for us we are also having this kind of power we also have this kind of possibilities and this is why i see micc as one of the biggest contributions actually in this kind of field of empowering young people actually to do something in their societies thank you karim and that were our questions now we're getting back to the studio to anya and tomislav Thank you, Karim. We heard from the program coordinator and also we have prepared interviews with the participating students. Uh, so, hello, what's your name? Hello, my name is Alma. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, how do you feel about this whole MICC project? Um, so, I think it's a great opportunity to get to know international people and get to know all this law stuff and so on. But I think it's also a bit challenging for us because of the English and the new, all the new things around us. Uh, I found it pretty interesting because I think that the MICC is the best opportunity to develop your critical thinking and while working into the like multicultural groups you can like improve your, your social skills and also uh, improve your language and like get to know all these people from different countries. So I think it's a great way to get to know like people from different countries and to get to know their perspective on historical events because you can really exchange about how they feel and yeah I think it's great that it's in countries like Croatia where you can also see new cities and yeah I really love the idea of MICC. Well the point of this project is to bring uh, people from all over the world together specifically young people to unite us in this multicultural environment and uh, allow us to make friendships and like international connections with each other. Uh, it is also like one of those projects where we bring, well, not we, the project brings law and 
uh, justice system much closer to us and we would probably not really have an opportunity to work this much in detail uh, and to explore it as much um, had it been some other sort of work. But I think this project really does that well and it really allows us to explore the justice system and the courtroom um, like in real time with real cases. So I think it is like a very great thing. Yeah. So for me it was a really interesting experience because on the one side it was a little bit difficult with our like the law thing because it's not really my type of work or hobby I do in my free time. But I still like that you can get to know a lot of people here that are from different countries. So it was all in all really fun. What is the most interesting thing to you about the trials in the MICC? Uh, I think the most is interesting thing about trials is that it's, let's say, semi-real. Uh, like you have two uh, two sides fighting over uh, the case like you have the judges also so yeah like it's semi real and that gives like participants the opportunity to feel what it's like in the real court how does it feel to have the role of a judge in the MICC and is it harder than you expected it to be mm, i honestly really enjoyed being a judge in this MICC a project because I mean I chose the role of a judge I had certain expectations but I don't know it was way better than I expected I really enjoyed doing the role because I just felt like it gave me some sort of power but also responsibility at the same time however I expected it to be a little easier I expected it to be like okay so we're just gonna say he's guilty or not interesting answer we will see after the commercial Do you ever feel oppressed, like your human rights were violated? Have you ever lacked the freedom of speech or movement? That would, in fact, be illegal. But we have a perfect solution. The Rome Statute. The Rome Statute is there to save your basic human rights. It, for example, makes sure that you don't get enslaved. One hour of reading will make you so delighted and your problems will be gone within an instant. If every human on the planet read this magnificent piece of paper, we would achieve world peace. The Roman statute is available in our human rights shop and it only costs... Good afternoon everyone, I'm Isidora and I'm with the MICC News in front of the courtroom in which the trials of Vikindi, Erdemovic and Flick have just ended. Uh, right now we are going to find out the verdicts of the trials because the judges are about to come out. He doesn't want to talk to us. Okay. First question, which case, which case, are you? how did the case end? Uh, not guilty. Not guilty, what do you mean not guilty? The jurist was considered as in, didn't he murder 70 people? Yes, he did murder 70 what? people, yes he did. What, why is he not guilty then? Because of the act of, of Roman statute 77. What do you think the people are going to say about this? They're going to be surprised, but they will have to accept it. Thank you. Goodbye. Можете мало динамичнее? Динамичнее. Я не знаю. 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 Я не I I don't think you can say it that way. I'm just a judge. I'm doing what the justice wants to wants us to do. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, okay. Next okay. Time. Uh, the, okay. Uh, we're Thank you, Isidora, on that information. This was MICC News. My name is Thompson. And my name is Anya. Thanks for watching. You have now heard about trials, shining a light on some of the darkest parts of human history. But MICC is more than learning about laws and courtrooms. MICC will give you the once-in-a-lifetime chance to encounter new friends, perspectives and challenges. 
Throughout the program, you're going to discover various sites about yourself, your companions and other cultures. The multicultural exchange will open new doors to you and be an enrichment of your horizon. Besides the work on several interesting cases, you will moreover work on yourself. MICC means overcoming fears, experiencing beautiful moments and learning what team spirit is. The program provides a unique adventure. And even though the verdicts of the cases are not certain, one thing is. MICC is an unforgettable experience that I wouldn't like to miss.